everyone, I'm Beth from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about maths and EAL learners. EAL learners, or those who are learning English as an additional language, often find maths to be one of the least challenging parts of the curriculum. The basic principles of maths, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, are the same in any language. Because of this, EAL learners often find it easier to demonstrate their abilities in maths rather than a more English-based subject. However, being an EAL learner in maths still has its challenges. Simply not having the right vocabulary can be a real obstacle to engaging with maths. Luckily, there are loads of ways that you can support EAL learners and help them to develop a strong maths vocabulary. Let's take a look. Word cards are a great way to practice vocabulary and Twinkle has a variety of bilingual word cards in many different languages. As a simple starter and to help familiarise the children with the vocabulary, you could say the different words aloud. To aid memory, you could have them use silly voices. Circle. Trapezium. Or do physical actions for each word. Triangle. Eleven. Quarter past. You could also turn the cards into a handy vocabulary book so your child can refer back to it during their work. You could also use these cards to play games. Why not have a go at Snap? Or a memory game? This Maths Mastery PowerPoint could be used by a whole class, but it can also be used independently on a tablet or a computer. It's interactive, so children can check their own answers. You could also change your printer settings and print the slides off as individual maths challenge cards. These are great for an extra challenge when you've finished your maths work. Encourage your child to highlight any unknown vocabulary and use the translation to help them understand. They could then create their own visual maths dictionary to refer back to. That's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.